Hi guys, uh, it's another big season of Animal Kingdom and I'm excited. Um, this is the final go for you guys. What did you think when they announced it was the last season for you? Mm. Uh, you, know, you want to go, Jakey? I was, uh, we were hanging out by the, by the pool when we found out Finn actually told me um, and we had just got gone back to the show after the pandemic and I think they were um, yeah it was it was just it was kind of like we 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 expected it kind of to wrap up at some point but um, I think just I think we all maybe wanted like one like two more seasons like maybe a season seven um but i think it i think we all slowly realized that i think six seasons was was kind of ideal for the show and and we would have never expected to be where we were and to get that far with everything and just yeah it was it was sad to see see the end then you say in the when we always get what we want and never what we deserve how does that really fit into this final season of uh, animal kingdom mm. ben? Well, we managed to do six seasons of the show mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah it, it um I, I think in in every way i think you know the codies have, have you know had to fight for everything they want and, and their beliefs you know not just outside the family but within it um and i think that sort of individual way of of um of believing what they what they deserve and the rest of it is what gives them that sort of fire in their belly to go and chase the very things that are important to them and and you know i think they all feel they they've had to fight for everything they want so it's um uh it's 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 that hustle that they can get one over the system for the things they believe that they deserve and I think it's led to some really amazing things over the seasons with like great heist stunts and uh, power shifts and struggles and you know the beliefs of, of what they think are true or false within within the families or dynamics of, of new people who come in and out of their world and um, I think it's just made for like an explosive uh, show uh, under the guidance of, of John Wells so it's it's been like a great quote that's really been lived out quite well um, throughout the sort of six seasons. Well, we see in the trailer that uh, Kren seems to be back together, at least, or at least very good at co-parenting. But there seems to be a theft involved. How far <laughs> is Craig willing to go to get their son back? Oh. Oof, bum, bum, bum. <laughs> uh you know, I think the same with any any other parent. I think it's you you do whatever it takes to to keep your your child safe. And I think the um, what whatever shift that is in terms of like uh, co parenting or, or any threat or anything that might affect the sort of well being of of uh, your child, that your a parent will do whatever it takes to to get them back on track and give them the best opportunity of having a great future. And and I think. Craig has, has also had moments throughout the, the seasons where he's had discussions. I, I remember one that he has with Jake, sorry, Darren, um, on the beach asking the big question of like, what would it be like if we hadn't been born in this family? Do you think we would have had a different kind of life? And I think that has been a mantra that Craig has very much had stick with him. And I think it's something that he's tried to explore through his, through his son. Um, and obviously you have the conflicting beliefs of, of Ren that run alongside it. So I think they can find a peace and, a, and an equilibrium between the two of them, then hopefully they'll find a, a great, great um, future for their son. Jake, I believe the trailer also alludes to another brawl between Darren and Craig. Can't you guys just get along? I mean- When was the other brawl? When was the other brawl? <laughs> Pretty Can sure there was one last season. Uh, yeah, there, I, there I feel was. like there's one every season almost yeah. <laughs> between the two of you. Yeah. What is it between these brothers that makes them such a clash? Are they so alike? Is it that 
uh, Smurf raised them to be selfish and their beliefs first? What is it that makes these two brothers butt head um, so much? I think, uh, I think it also the, the interesting thing about the Darren and Ben situation is that it also it drew so many parallels to like like my own siblings in real life and and I think it's one of those things where it's like you're when you're really close with the sibling you almost even with like a best friend you start to kind of like know in some way it feels like you know them more than they know know them um and I think there's that dynamic with Craig and Darren where they kind of they know each other so well that sometimes they're able to kind of call each other out um, and, you know, kind of confront them. Uh, and, uh, and it kind of just turns to chaos and they, they, it kind of all boils over and someone could say one thing that really just kind of sets them off and they're all pretty uh, reactive people. Um, and yeah, that's kind of, that's a perfect, uh, alchemy of disaster jake i'd be remiss if i didn't mess mess if i didn't mention the chemistry between uh darren and adrian and how wounded darren was last season where do we pick up with him and where he feels uh romantically this yeah. season yeah i think he's still definitely like mourning adrian um, and I think there's a part of him that certainly wants to to still be with him and um, go find him. And um, but I, I think there is kind of a constant internal struggle with him, you know, with that debate, you know, whether he is truly kind of now devoted to his family and feels a sense of responsibility for his brothers and, um, you know, to be kind of the vocal leader in some way of the family and um, or live, you know, that life of normalcy that he's been kind of seeking. Um, there's definitely, yeah, that, that picks up kind of where we left off. I think he's still definitely hurting and there's, there's still a, a void there um, that I think he tries, you know, he tries to cope in different ways and that that's the interesting i think that'll be the the fun stuff to to watch this year with darren well ben as we go into this final season what do you think it is about animal kingdom that's made it such a fan favorite show and what are you personally taking away from your time working on it um, well, I think despite all everything that goes around, it's at its heart, it's it's a family show, and I think it's the sort of the dynamics between a family um, really trying to make a mark in the world in, the, in their own way, even though it's counter to the way that most families would go about doing their business. Um, and I think that's been the special part of it. I think uh, you know the characters have all grown and intertwined with one another further and further along as the seasons have gone by, and. Um, I think I leave with, you know, maturing uh, myself along with Craig, my, the character, and and then obviously just being alongside the cast where we've all grown together for the last six, seven years and been through all these like crazy movements in the world and still managed to get a show out and, and still move along. And um, it's been it's been amazing to sort of have such great running partners and all the crew. And so um it's been a weird feeling this year not to return back to that family we've built for so long but it's been something i'll definitely take away with me for sure well thank you both so much for your time you both have played these characters so brilliantly and so nuanced over the years so thank you so much for sharing uh your hard work and your talent with all of us uh, i really appreciate getting to explore these characters with you for a little bit thank you so much well, thanks for watching